welcome back again to another installment of Pura Vida and yes you may notice once again I am not alone because I am joined by Emmanuel Clanfo. We're going to talk about Oliva but also we are here to review yes this is the time is finally here for us to review our first Oliva cigar on this channel and today we're going to be trying out the Oliva Cerebi Melanio in Figurado. It's going to be fun, Emmanuel. What, what, what do you think of this cigar? Well, I can wait. For us, it's uh, our number one cigar and our most premium wine. Yeah. So every time I'm able to smoke this cigar, it's a good day. Coming in at a length of, as you can see, six and a half inches long by a 52 ring gauge. That's the shape is. Figurado, very very cool, interesting shape right there. Now the tobacco as it says over here, wrapper Ecuadorian, it's a proprietary blend that Oliva grows in Ecuador, especially for the cigar. Uh, binder Nicaraguan, filler Nicaraguan and it's actually an Oliva Nicaraguan Habano from the Jalapa region itself. Well of course the foot is going to be nice and packed since it's a Figurado. Uh, a well applied cap, there's a nice oiliness to the wrapper itself, you know, nice sheen to the cigar. I don't know that the Melanio was cigar of the year 2014. Okay. What was that like? What do you think made the Melanio stand out from the rest of the cigars? Well, we have been working with the Melanio for longer than 2014, um, but I think the Figurado is the shape that we have. Yeah. Uh, draw a lot of attention. Um, it is a very cool shape. Yeah, the narrow end really, in your first puffs, make you really taste the Ecuadorian wrapper that we use. And that's why we have the narrow end, because the first puffs you can really Mostly taste. Mostly it's the wrapper. It's the wrapper, the Ecuadorian wrapper, which is very hard to harvest, very hard and to... From what I read about the Ecuadorian wrapper itself, it's a proprietary wrapper. It is. It's something that Oliva grows in Ecuador in the off palms. Um, is it possible for you to talk a bit more about the wrapper? Is the wrapper, what is it? Is it a bano or? It's um, so the, the seeds that we use um, for the wrapper, it's, um, it's actual Ecuadorian tobacco that we use. Ah, wow, well, okay. It's Ecuadorian tobacco that we use and the way that we harvest it, the way that we that you have to handle it, it's a very difficult wrapper to grow. So that's, that's mainly why uh, this makes this cigar so special. Uh, together with this uh, um, binder and filler, that is Nicaraguan. Um, um, yeah. And this blends. It's a Nicaraguan Habano, right? It From is. Jalapa. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And that is, uh, that blends. So the Nicaraguan tobacco combined with this Ecuadorian wrapper really makes it into a perfect blend, which is smooth yet complex yeah. and a very good smoke for all of his And is that a reason why tobacco, like the fillet binder, is from Jalapa instead of Esteli and Contega? It's because you're looking to capture that sort of like lighter but smoother profile as well, flavor without the strength. Exactly, that's what it is. It's, it's not too crunchy, yet you have a, a quite a full body, and that's why I think so many people love the cigar. Initially itself, from the Figurado, you're getting the flavor of the wrapper, you know, like, like what Emmanuel mentioned a little earlier. And it's a very tasty flavor. What sort of, how would you describe this flavor that you're getting now? Initially? I think you get some some chocolate flavors. Yeah. There's there's a, the little spice which which doesn't punch you in the throat, but it's it makes it, it makes it quite interesting. Yeah. You can smoke it, and especially the first part, as we said, where you get the wrapper. That's for me, I think it's usually a cigar takes a couple of minutes until it really enjoy Until it sort of kicks in, yeah. And I do believe that we have, we're smoking different cigars in two minutes than what we've been smoking now. Yep. And that's very interesting, that's very cool. And uh, people um, that are real aficionados really appreciate the taste of the wrapper. Yep. If it would have been um, this narrow, the whole cigar, yep. I do believe it would be maybe a bit too much, but it's really nice that with the shape, you can actually taste the quality and, and the complexity of the wrapper. Uh, very milk chocolate, you know, uh, like you mentioned earlier, a bit of spice. I, I think it's a bit more like white pepper. It's 
very Mexican kind of flavor profile with like a mole sauce. But now, how do you think the evolution of flavor has been like? I believe it, it got more smooth. It's a bit more nutty. Yeah. And that's, that's I think, with the star that we said with the wrapper. And now it gets more easy going. Yeah. And you get through it quite easily. I think because the filler in the binder is a Nicaraguan Habano, uh, the nuttiness is a characteristic of Habano uh, flavor notes itself. I'm getting the nuttiness, but I'm also getting this lovely sweetness. It's like very light honey on the palate. So it, it looks like a chocolate bar, it tastes like a chocolate bar. I think what you said with the honey is right because it's not it's not sweet in your face. It, it's no. just like it's well blended. It's just on the finish, like mm, that's yes, a little sweet. Exactly. And I think with the complexity of the wrapper, it's just like so well balanced. Yeah, it, it indeed is. You know, I'm I'm actually quite quite impressed. I mean, I knew this was going to be a good cigar, but this is wow. This is dessert. I think it got even a bit more creamy. It's uh, it's like you would think that we would hit, hit a level of the creaminess. Yeah. Because after the first part, it got a little bit creamier. Yeah. But I think that even it holds a little bit. It did, and and the, the brilliant thing about the cigar itself is that you you know usually when cigars tend to burn down, they they become stronger, but they also tend to become a bit more harsh. Exactly. And. I mean the cigar is so delicious, I'm, I'm not really smoking it at a very slow pace, I'm just going for it. And that's the thing, it's become creamier, the flavours have become more nuanced, but the milk chocolate is still there. I'm getting a bit more of that woody note to it, but it's not a strong wood, uh, it's a bit more like that cedar, that light cedar that you get on the palate. I've had the number four. You know, it's a great short smoke, but that is punchier. You know, it goes straight to the point. This one allows you to relax a little more and enjoy yourself. What do you think of the final bit of the cigar? Exactly, like within the Milano range, we have um, the Robusta size, the number four size, Figueroa size, and the Rubido. So they all have a bit of different length and a different smoke. Um, but it's it's with the Figueroa, you know, it's quite a big smoke. I think until the end, it's a pleasant, pleasant taste, pleasant smoke, it keeps, like, the burning is really good, it's very consistent, goes down, and like you said, with the, the part before the last part, it has a little bit more woody taste, yeah. and that I think is a good moment to pair it a little bit more with whatever you're drinking, yeah. because it can take it a little bit more, yes. the creaminess stays, but because it gets a little bit more woody, you can pair it a little bit more with it's slightly darker rum exactly. or something like that. Exactly. The cigar length is six and a half inches long, which may scare some people, you know, like, oh, big cigar, lots of nicotine, you know, vitamin N, I can't handle that. But that's the great thing about it because they all have, they all have been pre-aged. Exactly. And all of the knees and elbows are out of the cigar. So in the final third, you're getting a lot, yeah, you're getting more darker flavors that would, I think a bit of leather will come into the fore as well. Uh, slight spice, but it's not that like, you know, chili or whatever. It's a bit more of that white pepper that I feel that you got at the start of the cigar it's because of the shape of the cigar itself. So yeah, there you go. You want to add anything to that, Emmanuel? We're not going to see you in KL for a while, so... That's right. I wish I would come a little bit more often. I would wish the same as well. It's always a pleasure to be here. Um, I think until the end, we also felt like the cigar was not getting too hot. No. Like the burn is very... It goes very... Um, at, at the same pace. Yeah. So the cigar doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too burnt. And we weren't smoking slowly either. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's always... It's, it's a pleasure if I know that I wake up this morning and I think, okay, I'm gonna do this, this figure out yeah. together with you, and it makes me happy. It's, it's like always something to look forward to. It's a special occasion every time you smoke it, so I hope we'll be doing that for all. Brilliant, I hope so too as well, because nothing makes you happier than having a good cigar, but of course having a good cigar with great company always helps. Thank you very, very much, Emmanuel, for your time, and I hope to see you around KL more often. <laughs> Perfect. Till then, we'll see you guys in the next installment of Pura Vida. I'll be back. Till then, stay safe and stay smoky. Bye-bye. Ciao.